hello guys welcome back to another rental studio tutorial uh, in this video uh, we are going to learn about how to perform data serialization and deserialization using json on the last episode i already created a simple and fluid app that demonstrate how to perform data deserialization using json uh, serialization means you can convert java objects into json uh, deserialization means you can convert uh, a JSON schema into corresponding uh, Java objects. So for this Android application, uh, we have a two section. Uh, you can add a new contact. Uh, contact means you can uh, upload a username, a user email, and also you can upload a profile picture to the web server. Uh, view contacts. Uh, when when you click the view contacts button, uh, we display the profile picture, uh, username, and email on a recycler view. So when you upload a new contact to the web server, uh, we perform uh, data serialization. Uh, we, we convert all the data in the form of Java objects and after uh, we convert uh, that Java objects into JSON using JSON and we upload that JSON to the web server. Uh, when we retrieve a contact from the uh, uh, server, uh, we perform the data deserialization. The response from server is a JSON and we convert that JSON into Java objects using JSON. So before going to create the Android app, here I, I will show you the exact Android app that we are going to make now. So this is a network application. Uh, we need a web server. Uh, here I use WAMP server as localhost. Uh, we need a database. So here I will show you the database. go to php my admin here we have a database called the contacts db in that database we have a table called the contacts so this is the structure of the table the table contain two columns id name and email here id is the primary key field i now go to the root directory of warm server Here I create a folder called the contact app. Uh, in that folder, here is the needed PHP script. And here we have a folder called the upload. A uh, user can upload the profile picture to this folder. So now we can run the application. So now here I am going to add a new contact. Specify a contact name. Uh, specify an email address. Now select a profile picture. I select a profile picture. So here is the name, email, and here is the selected profile picture. Now I'm going to upload this contact. And here this is the response from server. It shows registration success. And here that particular profile picture uploaded to the server folder. Now uh, you can view the contact. Here is the profile picture, name and email. Now try to upload another contact. Uh, select a profile picture. Here is the name, email and selected picture. Upload contact and that particular contact is successfully uploaded to the server. Uh, so this is our application. So now we can check the database. So here is the newly inserted data. So in this application, when you upload a new contact to the server, we perform data serialization and when we retrieve a contact from the server, we perform data deserialization. Now we can create the Android application.